we're back with even more, more, more Nintendo Switch accessories. This is part four. Welcome to It Came From A Box, this is Sergio I.M. Uh, the holidays are here, and we finally gathered 10 more accessories to jazz up uh. your Nintendo Switch. Uh, none of which are holiday themed. I just, you know, wanted to wish you happy holidays. So, yeah, here we go. Starting off with the super exciting game card case. Uh, we're always on the lookout for large capacity game card cases, but a lot of them out there are pretty small like this Hori Pop and Go game case. Uh, it can hold up six game cards, three on each side, and they lock into place, and with a press of a button, they pop right out. But if you need more than six slots, then you should check out the Unikeep 28 game card case. It's a locking binder, which makes it easier to store or carry in a large bag, and it's available in three designs. A Switch version, abstract, and this retro one we have here. And no, the design isn't removable. I think it's actually printed directly on the case. Now inside we have a foam insert for 28 games and for some reason, 10 micro SD cards. Um, I'm not sure about that. So the foam insert is glued on and it works perfectly for games because they pop right in. The snug fit prevents them from falling out and the cutout makes them easy to remove. It's a great solution for storage that also makes it easy to quickly pick out the game you want, but there's a few things that annoy me about it. Actually, uh, right as we finished editing, we found a new version of this case that fixed every single issue we had by replacing the micro SD slots and adding a second foam insert so it can hold up to 60 games. It's a bit more expensive and it sort of makes this one obsolete. Sucks for me, but at least now you know. These are rail covers. They protect the contacts on the rails and keep them clean of dust and debris. Now these are switch blades, and they're as niche as the videos in this series. Gravilogic sent these to us, and they're currently live on Kickstarter. To keep it simple, they're premium rail covers, but they go further than that. First, as you can see, they're decorative, and they're available in a variety of hardwoods, limited acrylic acetates, and an executive line with inlaid aluminum. They attach the same way as the Joy-Cons and lock into place with an easy to access latch at the top. So as you can see, they make your Switch look classy, like it belongs in a business meeting doing business things. No, but seriously, they look good and they protect the rails, but they're also functional. Over on the back, we have deployable kickstands and these give you awesome viewing angles, which you can easily adjust. I was surprised as to how much I love that feature because it's just way better than the default kickstand on the Switch. So if you're tired of your Switch looking lifeless and dull when docked or in tabletop mode, check out the Switch Blades over on Kickstarter. Recently making the rounds is another heart protective case by Smotry. Uh, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, that thing kills me. We reviewed some of their TCG cases before, which is why we're excited to check this one out. Same as the rest, it's made of a tough and shock absorbent TPU with a nice amount of flex. On the back, we have low profile dimpled grips that work well, but they're very smooth in texture, which for those of you with sweaty hands may affect your grip. Then in the middle, we have a frosted back so you can show off the Switch logo, stickers, or whatever you'd like. So compared to the popular Moomba case, it's a little thinner, it's not as grippy, but it also has one big advantage. On the back, you have a cutout to access the kickstand, and you can also remove the Joy-Cons, which makes this case tabletop mode compatible. Three thumbs up, I can definitely recommend this one. The Moomba protective case is by far one of the most popular cases to protect your Switch. So much so that just about every carrying case we check out is followed up with someone asking, will the Moomba case fit in it? Well, this year Moomba tackled that issue by releasing their own carrying case. It's available in three colors and the exterior is made of a water resistant textured EVA hard shell material with a nice linear design, similar to the case. On the corner, we have a detachable wrist strap to carry it around and then we have a nice zipper pull to easily open the case. Inside, we have a full mesh pocket at the top with enough room to store extra Joy-Cons, cables, games, or any other small accessories you may have. Down the middle, we have two cushioned microfiber flaps and each has 10 transparent game slots so you can carry a total of 20 games and actually see them. 
Then we have a slot for the Switch, which is of course large enough to fit with the attached Moomba case or any other similar case. So it's stylish, it's rugged, and yes, it'll fit the Moomba case. Also, they sent out three to give away, so stick around till the end for more on that. A few weeks ago, we found another way to carry your Switch on the go with Hori's Carry All Bag. It's a small rectangular bag that you can carry either via the handle or the included shoulder straps, and it's available in two versions, Mario, or this one right here, Zelda. So the bag opens diagonally and inside you have enough room to carry the dock, the console with or without a case, your power cables and extra Joy-Cons or a switch grip. But we did find that it's a tight fit with the Joy-Cons attached. And you also have a mesh compartment in the back for smaller accessories. And yes, you can also throw in a pro controller, but not in that slot. You gotta place it outside of it. Now these compartments are actually an insert attached with Velcro, so you can remove it. That's not mentioned as a feature, but because of it, you can then use the bag to carry other things or break down the bag to a smaller size to store it. Then you can use the insert to keep your kit organized and ready to go. So if you're looking for a small, lightweight carry-all option, this one is definitely different and definitely worth considering. The Joy-Cons are crammed with all kinds of cool tech, but instead of a D-pad, we have buttons. So things like diagonal inputs can be difficult and it just doesn't feel the same. Well, Hori's back to save the day with their D-pad controller. It's available in three designs, Zelda, Mario, and the latest. To use it, you just slide it on and it simply works. But although it looks like a Joy-Con, it's missing three core features to keep the price low. First, it doesn't have a battery, which means it's not wireless and only works when connected to the Switch. So it's exclusive for handheld mode. Second, it doesn't have motion controls. And third, there's no HD rumble. But onto the D-pad, it's good. It's slightly concave in design and there's no texture to it, which makes it easy to navigate around. I also love the size of it. It's not too big, not too small, but it is positioned a bit low, which makes it feel cramped. And let's be honest, there's not much they can do about that. As for performance, we found it to be very accurate and responsive, especially with fighting games where you have to perfectly time diagonal inputs. So if you play a lot of fighting games, puzzle games, platformers, any game that can benefit from the precision of a D-pad, this is definitely worth having around. Smash Brothers Ultimate is just a few weeks away, and as is becoming tradition, Nintendo is once again re-re-re-releasing another edition of the legendary GameCube controller. It's only available in black, and as you can see, it looks identical to the original, except for the longer cable, this one's 9 feet compared to the old, which is 6 feet, and the logo in the middle. Now, for the most part, everything feels just about the same, and apparently so are the internals, but then you still have some users reporting issues with quality control, like stiff buttons or drifting. As for myself, I haven't had any problems. Using them side by side, the old and the new, I can't really tell the difference, but then again, I'm a casual player, so maybe I won't notice things like snapback, XY offsets, things like that. Now, if you're still on board, the last thing you'll need to use these with the Switch is the GameCube controller adapter. It connects via two USB ports to the dock and it allows you to connect up to four GameCube controllers, new or old. But if you had another adapter, you can connect up to eight controllers and let the chaos begin. A lot of you have requested this next one for over a year and this is the separate charging grip by GameTech. We had to import it from Japan and it's a bit pricey, but after using it, I think it's worth it. Now, unlike the official grip, this one snaps onto the Joy-Cons directly and charges them via micro USB. Now the grips here are awesome. They're very large with a ton of space to rest your fingers on and it just feels amazing in hand, very comfortable. But it gets better because you can remove the Joy-Cons along with the awesome grips and use them individually or attach to the Switch in handheld mode. Love that versatility. But it's not perfect because the materials are just okay. The plastic feels a bit cheap and it would have been nice to see some texture or maybe rubber on the grips. Also, keep in mind that the Switch along with these grips won't fit in most carrying cases. That aside, we love this versatile grip. I don't know why I waited so long to pick it up. This next one just arrived at our door and I'm extremely excited about it. It's the Satisfy Limited Edition Holiday Bundle. 
Pre-orders are currently live on Satisfy's website. Uh, they ship out early December, but apparently they have limited quantities, so you may want to hurry. Well, let me show you, Timmy. Inside, we get their brand new slim case, and the name checks out because it's about half the size of their large premium case. It's wrapped in a nice gray fabric with a strap at the top and an easy to open zipper. Inside, we have a soft lined interior, a flap to protect the screen with 10 game card slots, and beneath that, we have the pro gaming grip, but this version comes in an awesome red with black TPE coated handles. Also included is their premium USB-C cable along with four concave thumb grips. So this is more like four accessories in one, but it's not cheating because it's a bundle. Yeah. We're also including this bundle in another video, so keep an eye out for that. And also make sure to check out our review of the Pro Gaming Grip to see why it's our current favorite grip. Raising over half a million dollars on Kickstarter, this little guy is Genki. It's a low latency USB-C Bluetooth transmitter that upgrades your switch so you can use it with wireless headphones. It connects to the port at the bottom of the switch or to the dock with the optional USB adapter, and it's powered by the console, which means you don't have to worry about charging it. It's available in two options, by itself or in this awesome combo pack that includes the adapter along with a 3.5 millimeter microphone, the USB-C to USB adapter for the dock, and a portable stand with clearance for the Genki adapter at the bottom. Now to use it, you simply connect it, pair it, and just like that, your Switch now has wireless audio with the latest low latency APTX codex. But unlike other adapters, Genki goes further with multi-broadcast that allows you to pair two Bluetooth devices at the same time. That feature is awesome for multiplayer in places where you just can't use the speakers. Now, the only problem is that since it sticks out, it's vulnerable to bumps or hits, so you'll have to be careful with it. And because it connects flush with the console, it's not compatible with cases that surround the port too tightly. But in the end, the pros easily outweigh the cons. So if you're looking to add a solid Bluetooth connection with great range and versatility to your Switch, the Genki adapter is one of the best options on the market. So there it is, 10 more accessories for the Switch and there's no end in sight. So this holiday season, we are thankful for you. Thank you for watching and interacting with us, be it in the comments, over on Twitter, email, wherever. One of the ways we like to show gratitude is with these tiny giveaways. So here you go. Two winners will get to choose any product from this list and three additional winners will receive a protective carrying case brought to you by the awesome people at Moomba. To enter, first, subscribe. It helps us grow so we can one day do this full time. Second, leave us a comment below telling us what you're thankful for this year and use the hashtag thanks. Then on December 21st, we'll announce the winners on Twitter. Good luck, everyone. Uh, if you want to help us out, check out the affiliate links in the description below and happy holidays. We're very thankful and blessed for every single one of you. Once again, I'm Sergio AM, and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio AM, and I'll see you for the next box.